Yo, let's go. Let's wrap it around them. Hello. Commentating this winner's quarters match between Jude and BSP. I'm so pumped seeing both of these two in here. Oh, that's so good. I don't know who um, Jude beat, but... He beat Dan! Yo, that's a big win. Let's go, Jude. And BSP beat Travis. He did? What the heck? Okay, so Lavendi, BSP, and Jude all in winners round three. Meanwhile, I well, almost two. We don't talk about that. Anyway, I'm playing good. I'm happy. I don't need to complain. I'm not here to complain. I'm here to hype up this amazing winners quarter set. The winner of this is guaranteed top five today. So that is very special for one of these two. Everyone's going crazy. Okay, like everybody's upsetting all the PR players. Meanwhile, I just played the Vendi and Neon in bracket. That was a fun bracket. <laughs> oh, good memes. Everybody's playing so good today, though, it feels like. So good to see. Anyway, Jude and BSB. Most important thing here. Good recovery. Pressure is on Jude at the moment. He finds his way out. He finds an opening. Getting, going aggressive with the grab on the shield. Okay. Very good neutral right there. It covers the jump out of the power shield. Very important on that defense. Wow, so everybody's on one side. Yo, let's go! Okay, I forgot what that move's called. Using that down B and the invincibility of up smash to get that punish. That was really wise. I'm so distracted right now. Everyone's popping off because of being upset city and I've been missing out on a lot. I'm happy Spam Call versus Lavendi was on stream. I am going to watch that and enjoy that. Either way, nice job, Jude, taking the first stop with the back throw. He's worked his way out of a corner and now BSP is the one has stuff to do here. And he's getting it done. He's keeping Jude in the corner right now. Worst spot to be in. Up tilt covers the roll in from BSP. Using the down B once again. This time the hitbox knocks away BSP. Fifty-one, one hundred eight. Nice up tilt again. Jude is doing a very good job maintaining this stock at the moment. A dash attack. Okay, this could open up something for BSP here. Jude wisely goes to ledge there. Aggression on the shield does not pay off. The second hit of forward smash not connecting due to the positioning of Jude jumping there. BSP is going to catch him with the down smash. Nice confirm there. Using the up tilt for extra damage. Covering his landing. Border. Nice bomb catch with that border. He's, he's working this back. 63 to 82. Orbital. Okay, this is even now. ESP's made some good choices here. All right, a lot needs to be done here. Nice recovery! That's the stock! I'm sorry, I got way too excited for that. I am feeling the vibe of this room though right now. Like everything is just going. Why is this week not for PR? This week should totally be for PR, but it is? Okay, I was talking with Juan about like there being an off season is what he mentioned. They should count it. I, I think that like, there's a lot of value in this weekly. <laughs> Yo, it didn't count because it was off season. XD. All right, you took game one, so we're gonna see BSP's counter pick of Omega Wily for game two. That's exciting.
Alright, anti air play starting off. BSP. I can't believe Travis and Dan are playing already in Moose. <laughs> My gosh. Up smash up area. BSP is looking really good with his strings in this game. Jude gets an opening, not able to fully follow up off of that. Trying to get something off of aggression on his juggling there. His recovery game has been really good. He's been able to recover at a good distance. However, right now, BSP's best thought would probably not necessarily be an edge guarding. He has such a good advantage that he doesn't really need to press off stage. He needs to find some answers in neutral at the moment. He's going to be really good at mixing up neutral. I feel like zoners are just like a character with that kind of archetype can be done really well. Dash attack. Fire. Nice. Down smash. Full charge. Covers the tether recovery nicely. Not able to finish him off though. BSP get it by right through that down smash. Okay. One thing I'm noticing is Jude is really not getting these throw follow-ups off as much as he'd like. Hasn't been getting as much off of it. I feel like more bread and butter would just be more efficient for him. Downer on the shield, the slow downer. Giving Jude enough time to react to get that punish. Alright, I don't think he has a jump right there. He's forced to recover a little bit differently there, and he does throw off BSP. So it gives him back some stage. That's gotta be taken quickly away from him as BSP pokes him away once more. The retreating boomerang coming back. Just Jude in the corner once more. 53 on him. Being built up tactfully by BSP. The projectile mix up play right here. Seeing a lot of tick damage here. No punish there. Not able to get in there in time. Looks to the grab. BSP knows that it's too obvious. Able to jump over him and get even more percent on the punish. And there's the toss to the skies. Jude at 87% BSP at zero here. Looking like BSP will be able to bring this to a game three. Jude has to make a pretty good comeback to do this. I really like the calm patience from Jude when he's being zoned from a distance. He recognizes that he has tools to combat that. He has the down B for absorbing bombs, and he has the reflector of his force smash. And of course, you also have your defensive options too. You can play around with the distance you have, whether you need to approach or retreat. Shield is just a lot. Yeah. All right, the timing on that approach there gives Jude an opportunity. Gonna swing the forward smash on shield, nothing coming out of it. Great neutral air above the boomerang there. You have to be careful. You have to be probably looking for a landing hit from the air to end it. Staying grounded would be wise. Okay, up tilt. PK freeze! Oh, this is so close now. Jude going for it all! He's going to the skies! Will BSP be able to punish? No! Forward tilt out of shield. 99% on BSB has to make a very tricky recovery to get back here. A forward air. BSB ties the set 1-1. One, one. Wow. Okay. So... I admire Jude's comeback ability in that game. He nearly had that right there. He opened up PSP on that one conversion. Nearly brought it back off of that too. We're going to game three now on, I think it was FD. All right. Don't know where I got Dreamland from. Calm jump above the projectile play there. Gets him, lands him the grab of 17%. Bread and butter stuff, pretty efficient, I think. Anti air neutral air. Until, 
There we go. Wow, the DI mix up off that down throw into the forward air. Pretty cute. Ooh, I like that mix-up play from PSP. Bait him into shielding a projectile up close so he can get a grab out of it. A lot of experience play coming off from his tune link. Down tilt pokes him away. How do I get the approach out? Right, nice forward air placement. Charge on the down smash, PSP. Magnet civil edge. Good answer here from Jude. Goes for another aggressive down smash for his edge guard. That covers a lot of options, however. BSP has been able to avoid that quite a few times now. That's going to be looking for a different different way to edge guard. Goes for the back air on the neutral getup. Oh, Jude is going ham off there right now. Such good edge play here. No, not going to get the grab out. The forward air stuffs it out and takes the stock. Bombs from the skies. This is something that BSP is really good at, I feel like, is maintaining that second stock as long as possible. Tossing projectiles from above and below. Below. Dude's going hard right now. He really wants to take that stock. The grab is an option now. And it's not going to be the option! BSP with the aggressive edge guard, the forward air finds it, two stock, BSP moving on to winner's semis.